Hello everyone and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm Whitney. I'm Tanil. And last time we got our sword back. Because uh, at the beginning of the episode we lost everything. Yeah. Ooh. A goddess cube! <laughs> yes. I mean we knew about it being here, but... I think I should try to find the rest of our equipment. Hello. That looks promising. Man, I did all the stealthy stuff, and now you're just going to be able to go in and whack everybody with the sword. Yep. It's Next no more stealth shot. times. How do I get over there? Uh, open your map. Okay, so I can go over this way. Oh, that's so close. Oh, I know. Oh, no. No! Oh, no! Oh, no! You no! stupid frog thing. Blow them up. When I you can. will. <laughs> once I can. So, yeah, I don't know if we've ever really showed that off, but Curse makes it so you can't use any of your items, including your sword. I mean, we've talked about it, but yeah. we've not shown it off. There we go. Got it. One and of the trickier cubes to get. In fact, I think it's the final cube. I mean, you can douse for him now that we've got our sword back. Yeah, I'm going to wait until I'm on solid ground. Yeah. Okay. This is safe. Oh, no, wait, hold on. I pressed the wrong button. It's up. And... Douse for cube. Yep, that was the final cube in the entire game. Ah, oh. ah, oh, no more cubes. And you know, we know exactly where that chest is too. Yeah, we do. We ran into it a couple episodes ago. Oh, it's these things again. Yeah. I'm sure I need one if it's here. I really like the whole goddess cube system of you find a treasure, or, or you find the goddess cube in one location, and then you have to go get the treasure chest in another. It's fun. Uh, yeah. You're a little bit more iffy on it? I'm a little more iffy on it because it's, oh, you find a thing, which means you need to go to a completely different location to get the thing, when I could have just had twice as many things. True, true. Is another way of looking at it. I know that's a lot of what the the most common complaints about it are. Just, uh, well, why did you have me do all this run around when I could have just had it right there? Hey, you got your adventure pouch back. And look, the rest of your items are here too. Nice. We have reacquired all of our stuff. They're like, Sweet. yeah, you did the fun stealth part. You, you can have your stuff back now. Yeah. Let's get our shield back. Oh, lovely. Our perfect shield. I think that the goddess cube system is supposed to be very similar to the treasure charts in Wind Waker. Yeah, and I mean, I wasn't a super big fan of the treasure charts there either. Yeah, that's fair. I think what both are kind of missing, well, I don't know. What Skyward Sword's kind of missing with its goddess cubes and the sky in general is that it would be more fun if the areas up in the sky weren't pointless to go to unless you've already gotten those goddess cubes. Yeah. Like, if there's something else on the majority of the islands other than just the chests, I think that would be more fun. Alright, well, now we get to explore something new. It's coming out of its nose. Up, up, up. Got it. Snap. From a world building standpoint, though, I kind of get why Skyloft is so barren. I mean, yeah. Oh. 
I think we're here. Oh. A man of flesh and blood has walked his way to the heart of my burning hall. Now this is something. If I have the right of it, the mark you bear on your hand is not just a fashionable decoration. There can be no doubt about it then. The goddess has chosen you to hear the melody I have guarded for her all these years. Listen well, human child. I will sing you the song of my people. I believe we just heard the counter melody. Also, this dragon don't waste no time. He no. Ain't, he ain't gonna be jerking us around at all. He's like, oh, you went through that whole stealth mission? Okay, cool, thanks. Here you go, here's the song. <laughs> I hope you liked him, because we The goddess told me to give you this, so I'm gonna actually do that, and I'm yeah. not gonna, like, <laughs> make like you do You didn't burn bullshit. to a crisp walking in here. You're pretty cool, yeah, whatever. You got the Triforce on your hand. I yeah, think whatever. you're qualified. Yeah. I'm afraid that eruption was caused by an explosion of my power. Looks like you were caught up in it. My apologies. The skies above this land should clear soon. You should go. I want to get back to bathing in lava. I want to get back to doing nothing for this game. Absolutely Goodbye. nothing. <laughs> You'll never see me again. That's it. <laughs> there, he's gone. A report, Master. The volcanic activity that impeded your return to the sky earlier has ceased. It is now possible to return to the sky again. Well done, Master. You've successfully collected three parts of the Song of the Hero. I recommend you return to the sky and meet with the great sky spirit, Levias, to complete the song. My right. name is Levius. We gotta go back and talk to the whale. To the whale. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That, uh, the fire dragon, Elden, is incredibly forgettable. He is. Because, like, that's it. That's all he does. We never see him again. Technically, you can go back to his room, but, like... Is he even there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've never I, gone I, back. I've never gone back. I don't know if he's still there. The water dragon is absolutely the most interesting... Like, well, the most plot intensive and important. Yeah. Yeah, she has quite a bit of personality. Now, we could go. And I like the Thunder Dragon. Mm -hmm. Plus, he gives you the boss rush and the Hylian shield. Oh, absolutely. And his design is really cool. We didn't comment on it, but I love that he's got Smoky Cloud Beard. Yeah. And he's got, like, waves of electrical power running up his stomach. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I really just like the, the design aspect of all three dragons. Mm hmm. Uh, here. Here we go. What is you this... doing? Wait. No, that's the wrong house. We could go get the song, but I'm honestly thinking. Mm hmm. We're gonna. We've been doing a lot of plot recently. I wanna do a little bit of side questing. Ah, side quest. Here we go. So we heard a long time ago. Oh no, your crystal ball. I'm fine. Go on, go on. Please leave me be. My crystal ball has shattered and without it my eyes can no longer gaze deeply into the future. It's almost as though these exquisite, all-seeing eyes of mine have begun to dull and cloud over with sadness now that my crystal ball is gone. I don't know, dude. Your eyes are more sparkly than like an anime girl's. <laughs> <laughs> if only, if only I had a new crystal ball to gaze into. Is it not true that you recovered a piece of the windmill from beneath the clouds recently, young man? 
This shattered crystal ball was salvaged from below by Gondor's ancestors long before it found its way into my delicate hands. There may still be others like it where it came from. Yes, yes, would you search for a new one for me? Yeah, I could probably do that, I guess. Yes! No doubt you can see the gratitude in my eyes. The robot who originally retrieved this crystal ball was said to have reported that he found it in a building atop a mountain peak. Can you believe it? I'm lost in those eyes. <laughs> Your dousing ability can be calibrated to locate the crystal ball that this person is seeking. However, if you uh, are searching for... We're not for searching anything else, so yeah. We, we've read that text yeah, before. Yeah. Understood. I'll set your dousing target to the crystal ball in question. Pushwing. <laughs> I'm counting on you, young man. Without my crystal ball, I cannot gaze into the future. Oh, no. My eyes, they would droop with despair. Please bring me a new crystal ball with all haste. We'll do our best. And yeah, now is a good time to do side quests because we've solved all the problems of the land below. And before we potentially mess things up again, we should go do some side quests. <laughs> wow. All right, and we all probably know where exactly it is we need to go to get this crystal ball. I mean, he did say it was on top of a mountain. Yeah. So, you know, that... Limits our options, uh, pretty heavily. Indeed. And yep. Back we go. Alright, let's go to the temple entrance. Yes, yes. please. Can actually see exactly where it was on our descent down. It's right up there. Yeah. And on the opposite side, you'll notice that one of the balls is missing. Mm hmm. Oh, oh. Whitney. <laughs> I just walked two steps too far. It's fine. Hi, chap. Crystal ball. I have located a substance that closely resembles the material used in the fortune teller's crystal ball. It should be a suitable replacement. Shall I call the robot to collect it? Yeah. Master, I will send word to the robot using telepathic transmission. Here he comes. You think we should tell Scrapper that, like... There's a group of his people living on a pirate ship in the desert. Nah. <laughs> He's an asshole. <laughs> it's just me. I am here. Oh, you want me to carry this? Hey, Master Shortpants. How come you always get the easy jobs? Yes, the easy jobs. I'll be waiting for you in the sky, so don't take too long. Master, I suggest we also return to the sky and collect the crystal ball as soon as possible. That sounds like an excellent idea. Hmm. Who would have guessed that the game that takes the furthest place back in the Zelda timeline would be the one where we'd be doing the most robot voices? Eh, it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Like, honestly. Yes? Oh, wait. You're on a mission and I do not know where. Yeah. I was just looking around. Yeah? You're not usually one to just look around all willy-nilly. I mean, it's true. It's very true. I am absolutely on a mission. Uh-huh. Whoa, what? <gasps> you dug under the game. 
I'm dug under the game, I'm cheating. That's amazing. Don't get the bad rupees. I didn't know you could do that. Well, he's gotta put the rupees in there somehow. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, that's funny. Hey, buddy. What you got here? I'm still... I'm searching for something, about okay? the mission you're on. Okay. Well, do you maybe want to fill me in on what this is so that I can help? I know quite a bit about this game, too. Hmm. Well, there's actually one more side quest we have to do here in this game. Uh-huh. And I'm going to be honest, I don't remember where it is, but it's somewhere in the volcano. Okay. We need to find ourselves a particular individual. Okay, I think I'm kind of sort of remembering what you're talking about now. Uh-huh. Uh... There's a specific... I, I guess it's not a spoiler to say. There's a specific magma I'm looking for. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Is that a magma? That is. Is there a magma up there? Uh, maybe. Also, can you do these side quests at the same time? Um, well, no. <laughs> no, but what I was going to do... Uh-huh. Was start it? I was going to do this. Just get me close to where we need to be so I can just teleport right back. Okay, gotcha. Because the amiibo makes this part really easy so we don't have to fly to and from the mountain. True. Okay. But I don't remember where on the mountain we need to be. <laughs> and so it might not be any time saving at all. <laughs> all right. Let's go get the fortune teller this crystal ball. Yeah, enough of me not explaining what the hell I'm doing. Let's let's go take care of the crystal ball conundrum. We yeah. Way to do, 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 do. I actually really like. I like all the music in Skyward Sword, but the Skyloft theme is very, very lovely. Mm hmm. Here's that bright and shiny crystal ball. Bzzzat. Cracks. <laughs> <laughs> if you need me, clone, feel free to call. For Mistress Fee, I will travel to any destination. Oh, what do my eyes behold? This, this is it. You found it. This is exactly the same as the crystal ball I used before. Fates and fortunes, my eyes are wide with the thrill of possibility and damp with tears of gratitude. I'll be able to start gazing into the future and making predictions at once. Come by the bazaar again and I'll tell you your fortune for a special price. That's all right. <laughs> we, we still don't need the hints, but okay. But I will take your five gratitude craggles. Yes. Oh, 65 gratitude craggles. So many. I could be wrong, but I think there are only five more Grabditude Craggles in the game. Which means one more side quest. Which means we need to go find the initiator of said side quest. Whee! Okay. You're like as high up as you can get. Where are they? Come on, little squirrels. Here they are.
Oh, come on. Squirrels! Oh! Oh! Ah! There's the last one. No! Oh, man. So close. <sighs> I almost got them all. Yeah. Because if you get them all, you get like some rupees or something. I think so. Hey! How long has that been replaced? It's lovely. It's very large and elaborate, sir. Very, very large and elaborate. Hey, Link! What do you think of this new chandelier? Let me tell you, this beauty set me back quite a bit. You think I spent too much on it? I don't be a wet blanket. It's thanks to your hard work I was able to buy such a stunner of a chandelier. So don't break it. Anyway, what can I do for you? If it's work you're after, I'm sure I can find you something to do. Just for old time's sake. And of course, I'll pay you for it this time. Want to make some money and play, play in your heart for us? Or maybe you just want some soup? Uh, no. Well, I get it. Well, if they, even if there's nothing in particular you need, I hope you can take the time to sit back and relax. Oh, and don't forget to stop and say hello to Kina now, you hear? Where is Kina? I think she's actually outside. Probably. But it's good we came inside and saw the chandelier. Yeah. Yeah. There she is. Oh, and look at that. She's got a quest. Hi. Oh, thanks for helping me carry the pumpkins the other day. Thanks to you, we're ready to plant the new seeds. The only thing is, plowing the patch, the patch so that it's ready to be planted is hard work. And if only there was someone who was really good at plowing the field. I know someone. Whoa. Really? If that's the case, I'd love to ask this person to help me out. If you find this person, please tell them to come find me right away, okay? I calculate a 90% chance that this request in some way is connected to Graptitude Crackles. Your dowsing ability can be calibrated to locate the person who will plow the pumpkin patch for this girl. However, if you are searching for another object, yeah, 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 that's fine. Yeah. Let's do it. Understood. I will set your dowsing target to find an individual who can plow the pumpkin patch. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Is there really someone who would help me out? Well, I'll try to keep my hopes up and just wait here patiently until they show up. All right. I was right. They're in the mountain, so... Time to use that amiibo. Because who could have suspected that a magma would be up to digging a field? Uh, now we just I don't know. I think we should go find a kikwi. Oh, yeah. I think the kikwis would be great at it. Ah, dang it. <laughs> it was the one right there. Yeah, of course. I thought so. Luckily, they do give you this dousing ability, so you don't have to go and try and talk to every single magma like, Hey, do you want to leave your home and country and come up to the sky to clap some pumpkins? Wait, where's the... I think Where's we're... the sky hole? There's sky holes like right... Oh, no. No, no, let me down. That way? Uh, yeah. Was it that way? Yeah. Turn around. Or, 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 wait, wait, wait. This. Can take you up too, I think. Yes, this yeah. is what I need. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. I know how to play this game, I swear. Once again. All right, this time, actually dive in. Hello. Who are you? Gold. Oh, right, gold. So, we meet again, eh? I gotta thank you for your help last time. 
See, I've been searching for new treasure spots, but I can't find a single bobble or bit of treasure. Maybe I'm just getting woozy from working so long in this heat. Sometimes I wish I could just find a job that really played to my strengths. Yeah, something in a cool climate. Then I'd be set. I know a place. <laughs> Keep dreaming. <laughs> so you know a place with work that, that I'd be good at? And it's in the sky? I love the sky! <laughs> Where do I sign up? I'm telling you, I'm in. Let's do this thing. This individual's capabilities match perfectly to the types of duties expected of an employee at the Lumpy Pumpkin. Do you want to call the robot and transport this individual? Yes. Master, I will send word to the robot using telepathic transmissions. All right, Grandpa, let's go. <laughs> You're going on a trip. <laughs> this is one of the odder side quests. Oh, absolutely. Mr. V, I'm here, sir. Oh, you want me to carry this? Bzz. You don't have to tell me twice. Bzz. I'll be waiting for you in the sky, so don't take too long. Bzz. And off I go! <laughs> okay. Master, I suggest we also return to the sky and accompany the Manpa to his destination quickly. Yeah. He looks pretty old. <laughs> he might just die. <laughs> the altitude change will really not be good for him. <laughs> Alright. And with that, we are done with the volcano. Yeah. We are done with all three locations, yeah. except if we want to come back and get some bugs. Yeah. All right, time to get this old man to the Lumpy Pumpkin. So, you're going the wrong way. I'm getting the speed up. Okay. And a harsh left. Yeah, it's not even that harsh of a left. There he goes, a flying magma. Whee! Hey, yup. <laughs> One more. One last time. I brought the old magma. Zer Gentle scrapper. Send my best two feet. Zet. Yay, you found someone, didn't you? Wait a second, this isn't a person. Ah, so you're saying this is the mole? That this mole's gonna plow the patch for me? Come on, are you seriously trying to get me to work in a field all day? Is that why you hold me all the way up here to the sky? <laughs> well, good luck, Mr. Mole Man. What? But you... Well... I suppose, I guess I could at least give it a try. Hey, so what do you think? Oh. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> you think? Well, there's nothing really. Rooting around in the dirt is child's play for us magwas. Yay! <laughs> wow, one more time, please. Again, again. <laughs> oh yeah, here I go! I'm so grateful that you brought this lovely guy to help me. I'm gonna ask him to help with all kinds of things. Thank you very, very, very much. Yeah, one of the weirder side quests. Yep. And with that, five gratitude craggles. Helping people feels good. Yay. Well, anyway, bye. Goodbye, lumpy pumpkin. Goodbye, Lumpy Pumpkin, we'll never return. All right, and I think because we have done every side quest, mm -hmm. every single side quest is now done. Every single side quest? Oh, well, maybe not, maybe not the ultimate side quest. 
But most side quests. You know, th there was a reason that we got all these Gravitude Craggles in the first place. That's right. Maybe we should... Visit our good Uncle Bats? Visit Uncle Bats. Turn in our Gravitude Craggles. One last time. We. Let go of that ladder. You don't need that ladder. You got knees of steel. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Petro! Oh, you've gathered quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent! Please take this as a token of a demon's deepest appreciation. Ooh. Gold. But that's not all I want you to have, goodness, no. I have so much more thanks to give. Here, take this too. Yeah! Ooh. Money, 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 money. I only require a few more gratitude crackles to become human, please. Wait, what? <laughs> I kind of had a 80. feeling. 80? Yeah. I thought we were done! Ah! <laughs> Ah! Well, we're done for this episode. Ah! Uh, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, meet us back here next time as we probably go find a sky whale. Dang it.